Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Designs in Software Technologies Bangalore, the BricsCAD sales and support point for India. In this BricsCAD video, I am going to show you how to make blocks. We are also going to cover how to make blocks with attributes. Now, for those of you who don't know what a block is, here is a quick introduction. A block is a symbol. It's a symbol which repeats itself in a drawing. Say, for example, you can see this is the symbol for a recloser which is used in water network. And along with the symbol, you can also see some text. These are the attributes. So when the same symbol is repeated at different places, instead of creating them as separate entities and separate text, we create what is called as a block, which is defined once and inserted at many places. So by using blocks, it makes the drawings efficient and also it's easier for you to take out quantities. For example, in this case, I can easily find out how many quantities of this recloser block and what are the attributes of each block. It makes it much easier to work with drawings when you have blocks. Since many of you wanted to know how to make blocks, this video tells you the same. Now in this drawing, you can see there is a block symbol and then these are all the attribute tags. So first let us make the simple block. So I'm going to copy the symbol part of the block, place it here. Now this is actually what I want as my symbol. So I'm going to start the command block which is on the command line or you can even switch on the ribbon and if you go to insert tab you can see that there is create block here. So I can click on that as well. I need to enter a name for the block so I'm going to enter the name of my block as recloser that is the name of the symbol you need to specify a base point a base point is like an anchor point so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to center of this circle and use this as a base point so you can see that the center coordinates have appeared here next you need to specify some entity so i'm going to select entities and i'm going to select all of this and press enter now once that is done there are a couple of other options here like you can make a block annotative or you can set the properties that it must always scale uniformly and you must you can also specify a property whether you want to allow exploding or not so at this point let us leave this as default so i leave this as it is then at the bottom here there are three options retain convert to block and delete now what this means is that once you click ok what do you want to happen to these entities? Do you want these to be deleted? Do you want this to be converted to a block? Or do you want these to just be retained as they are? Now, it doesn't really make much difference what you do. I would just say convert to block because immediately this gets converted into a block and the name of the block will be recloser. So I'm going to click on OK. So you can see the block has been created. Now when I hover on this, the rollover tips tells me that this is a block reference. Its color is by layer. It is placed on layer pole and its name is recloser. Now why is it on layer pole? That is because the layer pole has been the current layer. Now how do you insert this block now that we have created it? So we go to the insert tab or the insert pull down menu and I'm going to click on insert block. So insert block can also be called by typing insert on the command line. Now if you have multiple blocks they will all be listed here. Now you can see that there are various options here. Insertion point specify on screen. Scale is by default 1 and you can also specify and set it on the screen. Rotation also you can specify on the screen. So these two are unchecked. Just this is checked. I'm going to click OK. So insert point for block. Now you can see that the block image is being dragged along with the cursor. So I'm going to place it here. Now the previous block was inserted with a rotation angle of 0. Now in this case I'm going to say rotation specify on screen. OK. I place it here. Now you can see that I can rotate the block as I want it. So I will place it at whatever rotation I want. Now let us try once again insert block and I'm going to click this option as well. So both scale factors as well as rotation angle I'm going to specify on screen. I click on OK. I place it here. Now you can see that now the cursor allows me to change the scale factor as well. So if you use your mouse and place it wherever you like then the block will appear with this scale factor as you see visually. If you want to exactly control the scale factor, you can type it on the command line. Say for example, first it's asking for x scale factor. So I'm going to type the x scale factor as 2 and the y scale factor as 1 for example. Rotation angle, I'm going to say 
0. So you can see that the same block has been now placed with an x scale factor of 2 and a y scale factor of 1. So this is an unequally scaled block while these are equally scaled blocks with scale factor 1. So this is how you make blocks without attribute. Now let us see how we can make blocks with attribute. Now to make blocks with attributes you first need to define what is called as an attribute tag and that is created using the at dev command. So I'm going to type at dev. You need to enter a tag name. Say for example, I'm going to just use this as a reference and create the same tag name. So my first tag name is equipment number. So I'm going to type eqip underscore num. Now the prompt is where you write what should appear on the command line when you insert the block. So I'm going to type enter equipment number. The default is the value that you want to appear when no other value is specified. So I'm just going to put it as a triple X. You need to also specify the text style that you want to use, the justification, the height and all those things. So let me go to height and I'm going to choose. Okay, maybe I think one is a good value for the height and insert coordinates. You need to specify where to place the tag. So I'm going to just say I want it here. Okay, so you can see that the equipment number has been created as an attribute definition. Now it's on layer pole. There is one important point I need to mention here. You must create all your attribute tags on layer zero. Why? Because if you create it on layer zero, then when it is inserted, it will acquire the color of the layer where it is inserted. So if you already put it on separate layer, then it will take the color of the layer where it was originally defined. So you must always make it a point to create attribute tags on layer zero only. Now, you need a minimum of one tag for block with attribute. You can have more than one tags as well. To create additional tags, the simplest way is to use the copy command. So I'm going to copy it twice. So let's create three tags for our block. The next tag is this one plot number. Now it's easy. I just go to equipment number and I change these parameters here itself. And the default, I'm going to call it as YYY. And the third one is amps. So I'm just going to click here, type the tag as amp and here I'm going to write enter ampere age and this value I'm going to just give a default of ZZZ. So you can see that I have created three attribute tags now. Now next I need, I need also to have the graphic or the symbol for the block. For simplicity I'm just going to copy the same symbol over, place it somewhere here and then I'm going to and then I'm going to my insert tab and click on create block once again. We will call this a recloser underscore att because this is with attribute. Now again the same procedure pick the base point. So the base point is let's say center of this point select entities. So the difference now is that when I select entities in addition to the symbol I will also be selecting the attribute blocks. So I'm just going to click OK. Now I go once again to the insert tab. I go to insert block. So if you now open this pull down here you can see there are two blocks. The one we created in the beginning and the one we created now. This one has attributes. So when you now insert the recloser underscore ATT block in addition to asking for X scale, Y scale and rotation angle it will also display the attribute attributes here. So you can go and change the attributes. So if I double click you can see I have reached the attribute editor. So I'm going to change let's say the ampere age. I'm going to type the ampere age as 4.0 plot number. Let's call it as 568 equipment number. I'm going to call it 10076. So when I entered those values for the attributes you can see that the attributes have appeared here and the best part is that they are all one single entity and that is what blocks are all about. Blocks are a grouping of objects that share a same symbol and the same set of attributes. So the attributes of the block can be considered as part of a database. So if you have 1000 blocks in your drawing and each block has got a few attributes then you have a database of 1000 entities and each one of those entities have got a number of properties attached to it as attributes. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and do let me know if you have any questions.